Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to cover part 117 of new Selenium IDE. That is, I am going to show you all the new features that are there in the latest version of Selenium IDE. So guys, these are all the different uh, new features that are there in the latest Selenium IDE. When compared to the older version of Selenium IDE, lot of things got added into the latest Selenium IDE, guys. Okay. So latest Selenium IDE is more advanced when compared to the older version of Selenium IDE. So when compared to the older version, older Selenium IDE, the latest Selenium IDEs or new Selenium IDE is more advanced. Okay. And this new Selenium IDE is, is more advanced. More advanced. So why it is more advanced? Because a lot of new or latest features, okay? A lot of new features have been introduced here, okay? A lot of new features have been introduced into this new Selenium ID that I'm going to show you now. So what are the all the new features that are introduced in the new Selenium ID that is making it more advanced than the older version of the Selenium ID? So this, this list of features are nothing but the new features that are newly introduced into the latest version of Selenium ID and uh, which by makes the latest version or new Selenium ID more advanced than the older version of Selenium ID. Let's start with the list guys. First thing is new Selenium ID supports more browsers. So new Selenium ID supports more browsers. What does this statement mean? In the old Selenium ID, only used to support which browser? Only Firefox browser, guys. Okay, it used to support only Firefox browser. Uh, it's not, uh, you cannot install the older Selenium ID either in uh, Chrome or any other browsers. Okay, you can only install the older Selenium ID in Firefox browser and use also in the same Firefox browser itself. But coming to the new Selenium ID or latest Selenium ID, it supports two browsers, guys. Okay. Firefox and Chrome browsers. So you can use this new Selenium ID in both Firefox and Chrome. You can install in Firefox, new Selenium ID, you can install in Firefox uh, and also you can install new Selenium ID in Chrome browser and you can use this uh, new Selenium ID in both Firefox and Chrome browsers. We already covered how to install and use Selenium ID in this different browsers, okay? As part of the previous videos, just go to the previous videos, guys, where I have, where I have clearly explain how to how to install and use selenium new selenium id in firefox and chrome browsers okay this is one of the new feature in new selenium id okay so the next thing is new selenium id has a strong locating strategy strong locating strategy what does this mean there is a concept known as fallback locators Okay, there's a concept known as fallback locators in uh, new Selenium ID, guys, which I already covered in one of the previous videos. I explained how, uh, what actually this fallback locators and uh, how it makes this locating strategy strong in new Selenium ID. Already explained as part of the previous videos, guys. Let me recap at a high level. Okay, so in the older version of Selenium ID, old Selenium ID, let's say you have recorded a test and now you are playing it back. Okay. You are playbacking it. While playbacking it, while playback, while recording a test, while recording a test, this old Selenium ID, okay, uh, will capture some locators for the UI elements automatically. If one of the locator fails, okay, the test will directly fail, guys. Okay, in old Selenium ID, if any locator in one of the steps fails, the step will fail. But coming to the new Selenium ID or latest Selenium ID, there came a concept known as fallback locators. That is while recording a test, multiple locators will be captured for a single UI element. If one of these locators out of this multiple locators fails, okay, instead of directly failing the test like this, instead of directly failing the test like this, using this fallback locator strategy, 
new selenium id will go will try with another locator because there are like a, let's say it has captured locator 1 locator 2 locator 3 and so on okay if locator 1 is failing in locating the element it will not directly fail the test case okay new selenium id will not fail the test when locator 1 is failing the test okay is failing instead it will try with the locator 2 for the same u element and see if it is working if not again it will go with other u element until until it tries all the locators that are captured for the single u element it will not fail the test guys so by uh, this makes the test more stable and reliable right so this fallback locator strategy i already covered one of the already covered in one of the previous videos guys just go through that okay so this is at a high level now let's move to the next uh, latest uh, new feature in latest selenium id that is third one new selenium id automatically waits for the complete web page and u elements to load on the page okay so inbuilt waiting mechanism is there okay in new selenium id so in old selenium id if the page is taking a lot of time to load there are chances that it will fail the test okay and uh, there may be some situations where some u elements without uh, the u elements getting loaded okay without few u elements uh, getting loaded okay without few the page will load and uh, the test will continue okay the recorded test will continue when few u elements are still yet to load in the page okay and uh, there is a possibility that there is a possibility that the test will fail because the u element will not be available by the time the test runs okay and here in the older selenium id to overcome this problem we have to use explicit weight we have to intentionally provide weights for the required u element sometimes but coming to the new selenium id is very strong guys okay it takes care of the waiting mechanism okay it takes a lot of headache from us uh, like uh, it actually automatically waits it has good inbuilt mechanism is there okay good inbuilt uh, waiting mechanism is there until this complete page is not loaded complete page is not loaded it will not proceed at, at all okay there's no possibility that without loading the complete page it will not proceed with the remaining steps in the selenium id guys at the same time it will make sure that all the u elements are loaded okay otherwise it will not proceed with the test all the, it makes sure that all the u elements are loaded properly then only it proceeds it's very good at inbuilt waiting mechanism guys and you don't have to explicit wait in this case of new selenium because it automatically waits for the complete page to load and also for all the u elements uh, to load properly before performing any operations on them and uh, i already explained this topic in detail in one of the previous videos how new selenium id has inbuilt waiting mechanism and how it can wait for the complete page and u elements to load okay just go through that if you want to know it in very detail next uh, next uh, new feature in latest selenium id that is new selenium id has commands for implementing control flow control flow commands there are two types of commands in control flow commands are there uh, what are the two types one is uh, conditions and loops okay one one is conditions and other one is loops there are few commands Th this both fall into the control flow commands guys okay conditions and loops so there are something like if condition if else if else if okay these are all the commands so if else else uh, if else and else if okay these are the condition commands coming to the loops we have many other commands like times while repeat if and for each okay times while repeat if and for each these are the loops loops commands in the control flow okay these are only available in the these are only available in the new selenium id only guys okay this control flow commands are not there in the older selenium id these are only available they, this came into picture in the new selenium id because of them you can skip some tests from execution skip some selenium id tests uh, based on the condition in this if find if else and all those stuff and you can execute the same step multiple times using this loop conditions like uh, times while repeat if and for each all these commands guys i already explained as part of the previous videos just go through the previous videos and uh, just go through these commands okay if you want to learn this control flow commands in detail so these control flow commands are introduced in the new selenium id they are not available in the older selenium id guys okay so they add more uh, 
more value to the selenium id test uh, you can actually play with them right now if you want to execute some test you don't have to provide the same step multiple times you can create a loop and then run it okay like that lot of advantages will come when you have this control flow in the new selenium id and uh, the next advantage uh, next uh, new feature of latest selenium id is new selenium id now also allows us to execute javascript uh, code in different ways okay there are multiple commands in new selenium id which allows you to execute the javascript uh, code from the selenium id so these commands are already covered as part of the previous videos guys just go through them and uh, the next uh, new feature of latest selenium id is new selenium id scripts can be edited okay you can select any step that got recorded and you can modify them okay after recording and when you stop the recording all the steps will be tracked in the selenium id you can just uh, select any step and modify them okay you can delete the step also or a lot of things like uh, you can uh, move the steps to different locations like cut copy paste and clear clear the commands and a lot of uh, editing commands have come into the latest selenium id when compared to the older selenium id and the next uh, new feature in latest selenium id is new selenium id allows you to debug the recorded test okay a lot of debugging options have come into picture in the new selenium id i already covered this new debugging options as part of the previous videos I'll just go through them a lot of debugging options are there guys like uh, you can uh, keep some breakpoints you can uh, disable all the break breakpoints a lot of things have come into picture so which i have already covered as part of the previous video I'll just go through that and debugger command is also there in selenium new selenium id which allows you to debug the recorded test okay so debugging wise also it's like a uh, new features got added to the new selenium id the next uh, one is uh, new selenium id projects are stored in json format okay new selenium id projects are stored in json format earlier uh, older selenium id they, they were uh, saved in a different format but uh, coming to the new selenium id the projects are stored in json format for example if i open this application and uh, let me record a new test uh, give me some let me record a project here and uh, give the application url here say start recording uh, let me type some text here kfox.com uh, click on search and uh, stop the recording here and then save the test as search test and click on ok now save the project so let me save in my projects folder uh, i will name it as all files and then say dot site okay it got saved here show in folder this project got saved in this uh, particular folder this is a project file right click and edit with the notepad plus plus you see the content of the side file is nothing but the json guys okay so what is the advantage of uh, what is the advantage of uh, saving this file in site format and having this uh, json content inside that that simple advantage is that when you open that uh, side file it opens this json content of this project okay and now you can change whatever you want for example you want to change the application url you don't have to open the selenium id and change it again okay you don't have to do that simply change it here itself okay so for example i want to change this to some uh, something like uh, qfox.com uh, okay i can do that i now save it and then close it that's it guys okay that's it so the editing is possible here because of this uh, json format uh, you can actually open it and uh, whatever you want to modify you can modify okay you don't have to do that from selenium id itself you can actually do that after saving the project also that is the advantage in the older uh, selenium id this uh, functionality was not there like you cannot see the saved project in json format okay since it is being visible in json format you can actually edit the details of the project in the from the saved file itself okay that is a new feature the next new feature is new selenium id can be extended with plugins so even the older version of selenium id also has some plugins guys but uh, the latest version of selenium id has very bet better plugins and it is also giving you options to create your own plugins or you can actually use some third party plugins created by other developers okay and use them based on your need basis so in the one of the previous videos i explained uh, how to extend this new selenium id with the plugin known as apply tools for selenium id plugin which helps the uh, new selenium id to perform visual testing also okay by default new selenium id doesn't have the visual testing capability guys so by extending this new selenium id with the uh, apply tools for selenium id plugin which i explained in the previous videos by doing that you can perform visual testing with new selenium id okay that thing i already explained in the as part of the previous video now the next uh, new feature is like a uh, new selenium id has command line runner known as selenium id command line runner using which we can perform parallel execution and cross browser testing also okay 
now parallel execution means executing the multiple tests at the same time okay which was not possible in the older version because this command line runner was newly introduced uh, as part of new selenium id so because of this uh, selenium id command line runner we are able to perform parallel execution and at the same time cross browser testing also is possible guys okay you can run, run the wherever you record the test case maybe in uh, firefox or chrome browser that's fine you can run the uh, recorded selenium test uh, in either uh, firefox browser chrome browser or ie browser or any other supported browsers using this cross browser testing okay method so which is possible only with this selenium id command line runner which i already covered this topics i already covered as part of the previous videos guys just go through the previous videos uh, for configuring and installing this command line runner and also for performing this parallel execution and cross browser testing using this command line runner i already covered all these things in the previous videos the other uh, new uh, new feature in the latest selenium id is uh, it it supports continuous integration guys there are some continuous integration tools like jenkins and all okay you can actually configure new selenium id with such kind of tools okay that possibility is there so it's working fine at present it is working fine with mac guys but for windows there is not much documentation on how to use this continuous integration with the new selenium id so there looks like uh, the selenium id guys are still working on this uh, thing and to provide more documentation for windows platform they are not up to the mark in the windows platform they are very good at the mac platform but uh, coming to the continuous integration they they have to provide more details as part of a continuous uh, integration implementation in the windows machine okay so let's wait for them to come up with something on continuous integration so anyhow the new selenium id at a higher level is supporting the continuous integration that's good okay they they will keep on improving anyhow in the coming days anyhow okay and many more other features guys uh, very uh, small features uh, new features may be there i don't want to cover as part of this these are the major new features that got introduced into the latest version of selenium id which makes it more advanced when compared to the older version of selenium id guys all this uh, new features guys i already covered as part of the previous videos that's why i'm not explaining in detail okay so this is just to uh, just to create a list of new features in latest selenium id this uh, current video is only on focusing on to list down the list of features uh, new features that are there in the latest version of selenium id which makes the latest version of selenium id more advanced than the older version okay all these new features are already covered as part of the previous videos just go through them so that you will understand this all these concepts okay at in a single article single video so that's it guys uh, in the next video session i am going to explain uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using uh, selenium id so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye